And welcome back to G'Angelo's here in Boardman, Route 224. It is football player profile time. Well, football and soccer, I guess, if you think about it. Uh, I am joined by the highly elusive young man who I just adore so much. He's the only senior we haven't gotten to this year here at South Range. Ladies and gentlemen, the kicker, the one, the only, Logan Butcher! <laughs> that is the loudest loudest reception I've ever heard for a kicker in my life. Yeah. So congratulations, <laughs> and the San Francisco 49ers could use your services. <laughs> um, Logan, this is, a, this is a special interview for me because you and I have grown very close over the last couple years. Uh, you know how much I appreciate you and, and how you carry yourself and your character. Um, talk to me about the experience because it's, it's, it's not exactly a dream for a soccer player to go over to the football field sometimes, but this community, this team has really embraced you as being one of their go-to guys, and they don't look at you as necessarily a guy on another team that's just coming over for, you know, once and, you know, I guess South Range does it a little bit more often in scoring. Um, but fr from your standpoint, what was that, that kind of phase into the football team like for you? Um, well, it first started off with me actually, you know, talking to myself and saying, you know, hey, we – you know, this is something I really wanted to do. Um, it, it took a lot of confidence. There's a lot of people, you know, saying, you know, eh, you know, playing time, whatever. Um, but I just, I really wanted to do something that I loved. And that was kind of what pushed me. And, of course, when <laughs> when I wanted to start it, I had Coach Yegley. That yeah. was right there to receive me. And he was there with every aspect. Um, he gave me the tools. Um, he was for me every single time. Um, at first, I didn't know how to kick, and he was there to, you know, give me the tools to help me to learn how to do it, and he was always just had my back. And it was easy to, you know, grow with the environment I was in with all the players from last year and, you know, the returners now. So, yeah, with the players that were there and the coaching, it was just so easy to phase right into You it. know, most people are going to sit there and, and watch this and say, wait a minute, he didn't know how to kick. But it's not <laughs> it, its not as easy as people think it is. No. You, you just don't go out there mm -hmm. and you kick a football through a couple pipes and, and get three points or you get one <laughs> yeah. point. Uh, and you've been playing soccer your entire life, basically. Yeah. So you talk to me through that, that kind of phase in your life that you had to learn how to kick a football and how is it different than kicking a soccer ball? <laughs> so... I got asked this last time, and when I was explaining it, it was kind of hard at first to explain it. But when I broke, when you break it down, is first off, it's where you hit the ball at, of course. Like yeah. if you hit it too high, it's gonna do something, and if you hit it too low, then it's like the golf. Ball, yes, yeah. exactly like golf. Um, it's how you swing, um, how you approach the ball. It it all matters, and even <laughs> even when the wind is you know on yeah. our side yep. and. <laughs> Um, Inside joke yeah. there. <laughs> um, yeah, you have to adapt to the environment, stuff like that. But really, if you just calm down and you focus on fundamentals, like what I did, I had mentors. Um, uh, Jeff Wilkins was a, be a really, really uh, influential guy. Brandon Young, those are guys that kind of taught me how to you know, kick the ball. Um, really, it's you can – either kick with a two inch tee or you could be on the ground there that's either like nfl or like high school and um yeah that's you know uh the three you know three steps back two over and yep. the, the fundamentals see you and i have something in common i don't know if we talked about this last time i was also a kicker <laughs> really? in high school but i was the straight on kicker that had the special shoe <laughs> and the, the 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 metal thing in the front so i was a square toe kick it straight up wow. and i also went to jeff wilkins kicking camp Okay. Is where I met Jeff Wilkins and my first time experiencing Jim Tressel, which changed my life oh, forever. Man. Jeff's Jeff's an amazing mentor, uh, a guy who knows everything about everything, not just kicking. He knows everything about oh, football. Yeah. He's been through it all, Super Bowl champion, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, for you to to be able to make that transition, but you go out on a Friday night, and it must be like it's an island out oh, there sometimes, sometimes, especially when you've got. Uh, the game's on your shoulders, the game's on the line, and you've got so many guys that have been busting their tail, you know, breaking knuckles and, you know, crashing heads mm -hmm. and pads and all that stuff, and you go out there, and all of that determination rides on your right <laughs> leg. Talk to me about how you keep yourself composed in those situations. So, in those moments, you know, kickers can go from zero to hero, yeah. you know? 
And so what I like to repeat to myself is, you know, be present in the moment. Don't worry about if the ball's going to go in or not. Um, I'm blessed to have a great snapper and a holder, Jimmy Powell. And, JPJ! You know, and Tommy Valentine. I'm Tommy blessed. Valentine! Get a shout-out. Blessed. I'm blessed by those guys. Gus um, didn't even give him a shout-out last time. Wow. Now you do. That's wow. how you do it. Wow. Oh, and first off, we're taking it to the house. If we get kick return, we're taking it to the house. Just wanted to mention that. Um, <laughs> I love <laughs> Coach it. Toys, it's to the house. Um, um, we'll get but, to that in a second. Yeah, we're we going to talk about that. We will that. go into that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, I like to repeat myself, be in the moment. Um, don't worry about any other thing. Just kick the ball. And I, it, it's it's – it sounds very simple, but it, but it doesn't. Works. It doesn't it need, doesn't need to be complicated, you know. That's incredible. Um, so yeah, that's incredible. I mean, you can just tell yourself, be present, be in the moment, and don't worry about what's going on. Yeah. There's a movie out there for the love of the game that he goes out on the pitching mound and says, "Clear the mechanism," and everything just kind of calms down. Yeah. What happens when? I mean, you've got a. Uh, I mean, you've been in a state championship. You've been in all kinds of different settings where you've had empty stadiums and you've had, you know. <laughs> Full stadiums at capacity. Can you hear anything going on when you're out there? Um, no. Okay. Um, I <laughs> I get myself really locked in. Um, whenever I have to flip that switch, I you know if it's putting the headphones on and get ready, that's where it starts. Um, when when I'm out in the field, it's business for me. Sure. Um, I whenever I make a kick, I you know it's like I'm passionate and stuff like that because it takes a lot of that nervousness and you know. Um, but yeah, when I'm out there, it's you know routine. What I've been practicing, you know, since last year. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You're a, a seasoned veteran now <laughs> with a, with a year's experience. Yeah. Um, all right, let's talk about the kickoff return because all I know <laughs> is I'm up there with Fur, and all of a sudden, I see this run back happening, <laughs> and it was like the state championship all over again because the ovation that you got. <laughs> And I just hear everybody, butcher, butcher, but for, for you to have that experience, what does it mean? I mean, you are so well-loved in this community and, and by your peers. What does that mean to you? I, I, it means everything to me. I, I am so blessed to be in this community, to have these people supporting me, and it means so much to me. I love every person that is on my side. Um, I play 100% for them. I play for the fans. I play for my family. You know, my mom and dad, they do everything for me. Um, I am so, I am so blessed to have the people that have been mentoring me and, you know, have been on my side. And having them chant my name and <laughs> just, it means everything to me. That was awesome for That's, me. I'm not going to lie to you. That was, that yeah. was one of the coolest <laughs> moments of the year so far. All right, so I got to give you a, a tough question. Since you're a kick okay. returner officially okay. now in the books. Okay. Would you rather have a game-winning field goal? Oh. Or a game-winning kick return for a touchdown. Which one? I mean, <laughs> Look at I, this thing. I know which one he wants going, to say. I gotta say, Coach Ross, he's not watching right now, so don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, I have to say kick. I have to say game-winning kick because it is not. It's not as easy as everyone thinks it is. Just to kick it and go out. Oh, so kick returning is easy. No, I don't. Should we get Crummy back up here? No, he's going to stay over there. He doesn't want to come up here. <laughs> no, that's, a, that's an unfair question. All right, so yeah, the, the, what I, yeah. I, I want to get into, I mean, we, we talk, we'll talk about your family here in a minute, but I know, I mean, you continue to say you're blessed and you're fortunate, things of that nature. I know you are very close um, with your walk, you know, with, with your faith. Why yeah. is that so important to you at this point in your life when it seems like everybody else kind of waits for bad things or good things to happen before they get close to, uh, to the good Lord? Um, so everything that I do is through him, and all all things I'm able to do and capable of is through him. And there's a lot of things I do to remind myself, or even to show people that I am, you know, close with my f uh, faith. I'll sometimes put on my wrist like um, Romans 8:11, saying, you know, the same power that rose Jesus Christ out of the grave is in you. And that's what I love to tell myself to motivate me to, you know, that I can't, you know, there's no, I don't have two lives, you know, there's not. You know, I'm, you know, playing football, and then I have a walk with Jesus Christ. It's the same, you know, it's the same life. And, um, yeah, I'm just, and just that what he's blessed me with, the people I have in my life, the coaches I have in my life is, you know, 
what, what way to thank him than just to play the game. How do you so. not love this kid? I mean, he's amazing. I, I absolutely love this guy. <laughs> You know who else I love? I love your family, man. Yeah, your, your, your folks are, are incredible. Your family's amazing. Talk to me about what they mean to you, just from a standpoint of, of being there for you, the support they provide you, and obviously the opportunities that they've been able to, to help you with. Uh, man, I, uh, my, I love my parents. Um, they do so much for me. Um, we have these, this uh, a game ritual I do with my mom where we do, you know, five fist bumps. She, you know, I give her a big hug. I give my dad a hug before the game. Um, they drive me when they're tired of practices. They, you know, I get home nine, you know, nine or ten at night. And, you know, they, they're like, hey, how was your day? They go sit down with me at dinner. Um, <sighs> that's just the bare minimum of what they do. They love on me. They support me 100%. When I'm, you know, when I'm at my highs or my lows, they're always there for me. And I, I can't thank them enough. That's awesome. That so. is phenomenal. When you uh, when you think about the kind of legacy that you want to leave, uh, being a senior, man. I mean, this is a. You, it's been a good year so far, especially for you. What do you want to? What do you want people to remember about you, Butch? Don't. Uh, sorry. Um, You're good. Don't tell. Don't listen to people that you can't or do can't do something. You, if you want to go do something, go get it. Um, if you really love something. Don't be afraid to go out and do it. Um, you don't know what it can turn into if you didn't try it. It's 90% of it is actually going out and trying it. And, yeah, don't tell, don't listen to what people have to say about what you want to do. I love it. Uh, let's talk about future plans for you, man. What do you want to do? I that's, know it's a tough question, That's right? undecided for me. Undecided. I, I'm going to be honest. Undecided for me. I haven't picked a college. I don't know what I want to do. I love soccer. I love football. I don't know what I want to do. Sure. But I know that, you know, God will guide me in a way that, you know, Hopefully, I, I love. Okay, so off the field, what do you want to what do you want to study when you get to college? Um, medicine. Medicine. I, yeah, it's more of a physical therapy route I would like to do. Um, I gotta admit, Doctor Butcher scares the <laughs> Jesus out of me. Yeah. That's what I was told my family. <laughs> it's gonna be tough to be in the doctor. Hi, Butcher. I'm Doctor Butcher. <laughs> I'm out of here. See you later. <laughs> what kind of uh, medicine you want to study? Uh, I mean. I, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with them. That's fair. It's just I, I've. That's something I. It's something I. I want to do something with sports, like the physical therapy part, the yeah. exercise science. Yeah. Um, but that's that's still undecided. And you got plenty of time to do it. You got yeah. a lot of winning to do before that time <laughs> yeah. comes. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Logan Butcher. We'll be back with the head ball coach right after this on your sports network. <laughs>